All right, folks, this is part two of the Slay the Spire, uh, the board game run through. And uh, we are doing okay, but we've got uh, a little bit of ways to go and I really wanna face this boss. So the main question is, do I go and try and face an elite first? Or do I go up this route and make sure I can uh, you know, upgrade some cards? I'm gonna go the safer route. I'm gonna go to the campsite. When you go to a campsite, you have a uh, three, uh, you have two options. You can heal three, which I think we're gonna do, or you can upgrade a card. I'm going to heal three and get us both back to full health and uh, get us prepared for the next fight. But first, we have next a question mark, which means we are have fa we're facing a living wall. We each can choose. We can either remove a card, transform a card, or upgrade a card. Ooh, some good options. I think we want. I think I want to remove cards. I think because oh yeah, get rid of that one because. I, uh, the Silent in general has a larger deck than the other players because they draw extra on the first round. So they just have more, um, let's just start with more cards. Now, what do I want to get rid of? I just grabbed an attack card, so I think I'm going to get rid of a basic strike. So that's what I'm doing. I'm forgetting. Now, the Watcher over here, do I want to upgrade a card? I, I'm kind of okay with the cards that I have. What does Flurry of Blows look like upgraded? This is normally a one, deals an additional one if I switch stances. Ooh, deals an additional two attacks if I switch stances? I think that's great. Uh, because each one of those is, is boosted by the Wrath. It's gonna be a zero cost, six damage attack if I switch to Wrath and do it. That seems very, very good. So I have grown. I've grown, aren't you proud of me? Um, I'm upgrading a card now. We're gonna move on to an attack. We've got one more little basic attack, basic combat, before we move on to the boss. The, each of these comes with, oh no, the looter doesn't have any minions. Uh, the sneaky gremlin does, three random gremlins. Now there are specific minions that are just gremlins and they've got this little gremlin thing on uh, the top corner. So I'm just grabbing three random ones. Let's scoot this over. A mad gremlin, a, another sneaky gremlin, and a fat gremlin. All right, let's get some cubes on these guys. Fat gremlin, sneaky, mad, sneaky, looter. And the looter works a little differently than any of the other uh, enemies we've seen because they just have a track. This is going to deal some damage, deal some damage, and then I am going to lose two bucks and it disappears. I still get the combat rewards, which are a potion and a card, but I'll have lost $2. I don't really like that. Um, so, you know, we're gonna try and deal with that. And these guys, they're really easy to kill, but there's a lot of them. So, you know, that's something you gotta work with. Um, but the sneaky gremlins, they only deal two damage, or they only have two health. So they're gonna be pretty, they're probably gonna be the first ones to go. The fat gremlin does hit both of us, which is a little annoying. So yeah, we're just trying to figure out what's the game plan here. Obviously it's gonna determine, uh, it's gonna matter what we draw. Now nothing here cares about dice, so I'm just gonna ignore the die for this one. I don't have any relics that need dice. Uh, and we're just gonna get into it. All right, five, six, seven. Come on, give me a discard. Uh, I didn't get any of the discard for the sneaky strike. Got a blade dance though. I can deal some good damage. I can deal like five damage with this, but I've got two damage coming in. What can this, the Watcher do? Eruption, okay. So we can kill a thing. Oh, whoops, forgot to put this back in. All right, let me reshuffle. That didn't happen, you didn't see it. Nothing happened. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Eruption, Empty Fist. Ooh, there's some good stuff here. Ooh, okay, let's see. Let's see, how do we do this? Um, okay, I'm gonna start with Mental Fortress. Uh, put that up there, that cost me one energy. Then I go to Vigilance, gives me two block. Gets, that's the last of my energy, but I can use my Miracle to get one more. I am going to play Eruption. Oops, that's not my Discord pile. Uh, eruption, this is two damage. I'm just gonna kill one of these sneaky gremlins. Um, and I enter Wrath. This way. I was in Calm, I'm in Wrath now. 
Bam, gets me two more energy. Um, I'm going to play a strike uh, to kill this sneaky gremlin. And then I think I do empty fist to do three damage to the fat gremlin. Uh, all right. That was very cool uh, for me. Three damage to the fat gremlin. You're dead. I've killed three of my gremlins in one in one go. I've got one attack coming at me, but I do have two block. Now, left brain over here is in a worse position, and I did not help them even a little bit. Um, is that okay? I think it's okay. I could have kept, instead of doing the three damage to the fat gremlin, I could have put three damage on the looter. But I did stop one damage from coming to them, so I helped a little bit. All right, do I want the blade dance or do I want to use the sneaky strike? Three damage or I could protect myself or two. I definitely want the blade dance. So one on that to get me two shivs. But again, holding on to them because this guy's not going to give himself any defense. So I don't need to worry about that. Now my ninja scroll, might as well just use it. I'm going to spend that and go. That's two one damage attacks. Um, so... I could do three more damage and then just take the two hits. Or I could spend two defends. Yeah, I could spend two defends and protect myself, which I think I'm going to do. Do, do, do. Is that all? I don't, I don't use these. I think that's it. Um, so two attacks come in, I block it. One attack comes in, I block it, and I get to keep that extra block because of the calipers. Uh, next round. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I've got this prepared. I want to start with this. Draw one, discard one. Excellent. Drew the sneaky strike. I'm going to discard this defend because I think we're going to deal enough damage to kill it. Um, but sneaky strike, uh, three damage. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't even remember. They left. They entered neutral. I've got a neutralize and a strike, so that's two more damage, and I've got my shivs. I can absolutely, oh, this needs to go down. Um, I can kill the looter. And they're defended from the gremlin, so I don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to at least do the strike and the shivs to bring this down to one. The reason I'm not doing uh, the other one is because we might want to neutralize the gremlin. I haven't even drawn cards for the watcher. What do we got here? Uh, ooh, let's see. If I'm in calm, draw four cards. Otherwise, enter calm. And then Flurry of Blows. This is, will be a three damage attack if I enter calm. So I will do inner peace to enter calm. Gets me two energy. This is a three damage attack. The problem is uh, it's angry. Whenever this enemy takes damage from attacks, it gains strength. And this is several different attacks. So if I'm doing this, we need to kill it. And I won't kill it. Um, so I'm just going to use the Flurry of Blows. Didn't really need to do it over here. But let's see. Ooh, could we be more efficient? So that's three damage. I did the Sneaky Strike. Could we kill? I mean, we could. I don't think we can kill both of them. My math might be off on this, but I think we just kill the looter. The looter's dead. I think we're going to kill the Mad Gremlin next turn. Um, because I've got uh, some extra defense that I'm going to use. I'm just going to use my Protect. Two cost, three, three defense. Give me that. And then uh, that's fine. That's fine. We're fine. Uh, I will do the neutralize. They take one damage. They are now strengthened, but also weakened. Um, and then I could survive. It doesn't matter. I don't need that. So uh, it is going to attack the Watcher. It has one, plus one, minus one, and then this the weakened goes away. Um, however, we keep a hold of that block. And then we just need to be able to do four damage. Are we going to be able to do that? Yes, we're going to be able to do that. So four more damage. Going to kill the Mad Gremlin on this next 
run. Oh, I forgot to give myself all the defense from the Mental Fortress. In fact, I, I could have used those other attacks. Oh, well. Got to remember that the <laughs> Mental Fortress thing uh, is extremely good if you're going for a stance switching uh, build, but you have to remember that it's there. Uh, so we have defeated the Gremlins. We have defeated the Looter. These guys are gone. What do we get as rewards? We each can get a potion. That's nice. Sneko oil works very differently in this uh, in the board game than it does in the video game, but it would have been impossible to do it the way it does in the video game. Because in the video game, it randomizes the cost of your cards, um, and that's just not a thing you can do with physical cards, or at least not in an elegant way. So now it just, you draw five cards and then you gain two disorients, which is, I think, similar in spirit. So this gets refreshed. Oh yeah, uh, at the end of combat, I gain a coin. And then get a coin over here as well. Blood potion, heal two hit points, excellent. And each of us gets cards. So from the looter, another blade dance. Definitely gonna be this one. Definitely gonna be this one. Definitely gonna be this one. Blade Dance is just good. Really good for me specifically. So I'm going that shiv route. And then for the gremlin, I get to draw a card. One, two, three. Empty mind, draw two cards, enter neutral. Cut through fate and it's an attack. Scry two, draw one card. Crescendo, retain, enter wrath, and then exhaust, and it costs zero. I like this a lot. I'm gonna grab Crescendo. Now it goes away, because you know you exhaust it afterwards, but it's a skill, so I immediately get to upgrade it. And uh, now it lets me draw a card on top of it. So that's pretty good. Um, so that Toxic Egg's only gonna hit me one more time. Uh, but if I defeat the boss, you get, a, you get to choose between rare cards. And I wouldn't mind. Uh, an immediately upgraded rare skill. Some good stuff in there. There's also some good powers, though, for, for the Watcher. Anyway, we are now at a campfire. Uh, because we're both full health, the only thing to do, the best thing to do, is to upgrade hard. I think I want to upgrade my accuracy. Because now it's free. Uh, Should still only deal one extra damage, but... Accuracy being free means there is no problem with me playing it as soon as I get it. And then over here, we've got a few options. Uh, let's see, fear no evil. If you're in wrath, enter calm. This will probably just deal one extra damage, yeah. And what else? Vigilance will give me one extra defense. It's not bad. Empty fist, probably one extra damage, yeah. Crescendo, we've already upgraded. Mental Fortress, what do you do when you... When you every switch stances get two defense. Ooh, that might be good. Inner Peace, I've already upgraded. Protect is going to give me one extra defense. I think I'm going to upgrade Mental Fortress. Again, it's very good. And because I keep my leftover block, that's, that's also uh, just a really good thing. Now, one thing that it should be uh, stated... The upgrades for attacks are basically the same, you know, you, as in the video game, you just get an extra damage on it. But when you upgrade a defend, it's two, damage, or two defense to any player. So upgrading defense is actually a pretty useful thing to do. It's just that there's better stuff for me at the moment, which is why I'm not doing it. If I was pretty happy with the other things that I had, I probably would upgrade a defense, especially since I'm gonna be pretty good on defense now. Um, because I have so many ways to switch stances. Always remember to bring it back to neutral. Give yourself this thing. All right, we've got the big bad boss coming up. And they have a big bad boss card. There are no lanes on this, and when they attack, they always hit both players. So instead, this guy has two modes. The Guardian here has the attack mode and the defensive mode. Uh, it's going to shift after its first uh, attack. Um, or it, it actually, I should say, it might shift after its first attack. 
So it's going to, on attack mode, it's going to deal two damage to both of us. Then it's going to get five defense per player, so 10. Uh, then um, on the second turn, mode shift. If the Guardian starts its turn with no defense, it doesn't attack this turn and enters defensive mode instead. Which means I definitely need to take out, you know, deal 10 damage to it on the second round, because otherwise it's going to do six damage to both of us. And then in defensive mode, uh, it doesn't deal that much damage, but at the end of it, it will strengthen itself and enter attack mode for the next round. But also it has a sharp hide. While in defensive mode, after I play an attack, it uh, we take one damage. But damage can be blocked. So, something to keep in mind. Now, uh, let's see how we can do this. Oh, the last thing is the health. It's got 80 health. Because there's two players, we're going 80. Single mode, single player mode, 40 health. Still a lot. Um, I'm going to move my coins because I feel like I'm just going to actually color up anyway. Um, just going to take these off. off. Uh, screen just because I feel like I'm going to knock them around. Same with you. Putting these to the side. Not losing all my money, but just it is, it is what it is. I'm happy that I got that heal two hit points. That's going to be useful here. Okay. Now what I'm hoping for is uh, to get both of the powers, uh, my accuracy and the, uh, the Rubik's Cube whatever that one is, defensive stance, uh, in the first draw. That would be that would be pretty useful. Uh, again, we're not rolling any dice. It's interesting that I haven't pulled any relics that have those dice abilities, because there's a lot of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, sneaky strike, blade, blade dance, neutralize. Ooh, okay, I can do a lot of damage, but this is not exactly where I want to be. Definitely going to neutralize it though. So this is one, um, just one damage. So 80 to 79, but it gets weakened. So it's only going to deal one damage uh, to each of us. So I'll probably want to play a defense. That didn't cost me any energy. Let's see, Sneko Oil. Do I want to do the Sneko Oil? Actually, you know what, I think the reason I'm thinking about using the Sneko Oil, drawing five cards, is because I've got uh, both of these blade dances, I kind of want to get the accuracy. But I think it's better to hold on to it. And these sneaky strikes would be great, I just, it's just not, it's not the play right now. I need to play both of these blade dances to get four shivs. So three, four? So I can hold on to these, and next turn I'll probably get my accuracy. That'll be really important because it's we're going to need to do a lot of damage next turn. Well, that's two, and I guess I'll just play one defend because it does have one attack coming in against us. So that's going to be that. That's my energy. Um, Watcher, five. Did get Mental Fortress, excellent. So one energy, definitely going to be to play that. And then I'll probably be vigilant. That's gonna cost me two. It's gonna put me into calm, but I'll get two defense. Um, so that'll help set me up for next turn. Now, this isn't a great attacking hand anyway, and that's fine. It's gonna be useful in the next round. So it deals its one attack to both of us because it was weakened. Uh, that's blocked here, blocked here. And these slide forward. This is gonna slide down. So now it's gonna gain 10 defense. So we need to deal 10 damage to it. If I get accuracy, that's not going to be hard. I did not get accuracy. I get, but I got three strikes. I've got four here. Um, we're going to be fine. We definitely will trigger this. But we want to deal as much damage as possible. And and that's the thing. Like We have to go through 10 defense first. Let's see what, let's see what the Watcher can do. Because I bet... We can do some good stuff here. Okay. If I'm in calm, draw four cards, otherwise enter calm. I uh, definitely want to do that because I want to get some things that, uh, some more stuff. So, ooh. 
I could, I could enter Wrath, that draws me a card. I just need more attacks. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna do Inner Peace. I'm in Calm, uh, so I draw four cards. One, two, three, four. All right, yeah, here's some good stuff. I'm gonna start with an Eruption. That cost me one energy, but I was in Calm, so now it goes me up to here. That's two damage. Um, uh, gotta do a Flurry of Blows. Um, so that's two, four, six damage. Because it's three separate attacks, each of them affected by Wrath. And, oh, and I switch stances, that gets me two defense. I've got uh, Fear No Evil. That's going to be one. Um, and it's going to deal three damage. So that's one, two, and a damage. But now I enter, I was in Wrath, I enter Calm. Um, because I switch stances, gain two defense. I then will play Crescendo. Um, this allows me to enter Wrath, and then I draw a card, but this card will be gone for the rest of the combat. So that gets me two more defense, um, and I draw a card. And I've got, uh, I exited Calm, so that, get me, that got me two more energy. So now I'm gonna play these two strikes. They're two damage each, two, four, and then the empty fist, two, three, uh, that's three more damage, one, two, three, and I enter neutral. I have switched stances, I get two more defense. Um, and I might as well, with my last energy, give myself one more defense. Um, that's all the rest that I can do. Uh, but that felt like a pretty good turn. Um, especially because I'm gonna keep all that, um, which is gonna be really important for attacking it while it's in defensive mode. For me, I guess I just spend these three uh, these three strikes and deal one, two, three damage down to 68. Uh, might as well do the, no, I'm gonna hold on to the ninja scroll. I don't really need to spend either of those. I, well, the accuracy is in here, um, but uh, I'm really waiting. It's gonna be tricky attacking it when it's in defensive mode for, for me anyway. So. That's the end of the turn. It goes to mode shift because it doesn't have any defense left. It goes to defensive mode instead of attacking. So now, two, three, we're going to shuffle up and do another round. Now, this was a good start. We've dealt some good damage to it. What do we deal with a 68, so 12 damage? Most of that was uh, from the Watcher. Thanks, MVP. Um, Really interesting how much the roles can shift because I was playing a game with this combo and the person who was playing the silent was doing so much damage. I was doing good damage as, as the watcher but not anywhere near as, as strong. But the stance switching is a really powerful play. Anyway, uh, so now we're in defensive mode. It's gonna deal two damage to both of us. Every time we play an attack, we take a damage, and these shivs count as an attack. So playing them is not ideal, um, but I could put out some accuracy. That cost me nothing. Um, I can prepare, draw a card, discard a card. Draw a card. I'm gonna discard this strike. I'm gonna play uh, one defend to give me a block. Then I'm gonna play the sneaky strike. Um, it's gonna deal three damage, one, two, three. Uh, I take a damage because it's in defensive mode, but I had a block, and then I'm going to, oh yeah, and then, so I had to play that, but that gave me my energy back. Um, play the defend, get one more block. I am gonna take a damage, that's fine. Uh, again, didn't even go over here. Sometimes it's really important to like stagger your moves in this uh, in this game. If I had things that applied vulnerable, you definitely wanna make sure you know who's going first and all that stuff. I just haven't really, uh, put status effects into the cards that I've gotten. I didn't have a whole lot of opportunities. One or two, I think, but for now, this is okay. I definitely want to erupt. So this is a two damage attack, uh, one, two. I then take a damage and then I've, 
I switch stances. That gets me two. I can you have more than ten defense? Check that. Yes, you can. You can have maximum twenty defense, uh, which means I'm up to eleven. Uh, and I'm now in wrath. So that was one. I'm going to like a strike. That's two more damage. I do take a damage down to 10, 10 block. And I'm going to fear no evil. That's three more damage. One, two, three. Uh, I'm going to take another damage, but I was in wrath. I was in wrath. I enter calm which switches a stance, uh, which means I am back to 11. <laughs> That's the last of my energy. I could use a miracle to get more, but I don't think it's super important at the moment. So uh, that is the end of our turns. It is going to attack us for two each. So that's one damage to the silent. Brings me down to, oh, nine defense. Um, but this next one is actually going to be a little bit more concerning. So let's see where we find ourselves. Oh, now I get these blade dances. This is bad timing on those. But maybe. One, two, three, four, five. Do I get anything? Yes. Okay, so I, uh, let's see, I'm in calm. I'm going to do, start with an empty fist. That's one energy, but I will enter neutral at the end of it, so I'm gonna get out of that. Um, I deal two damage. I take one damage from the defensive stance, get to uh, defense from switching stances, and now I'm in neutral, and I have four energy to, to spend. And the reason I wanted to do that is I want to protect three defense to any player, um, and then Vigilance, two defense to any player. Um, and I gain two defense. Or sorry, I switch stances because I'm in Calm now. I gain two. Um, I don't have any more attacks that I can do. Uh, and that was all my energy. Um, so I can't really play the other things. But now, Left Brain's got five defense to work with. And I've got... I definitely want to send one of these on defense to get me up to six, because we do have four coming in. Um, so I'm going to spend two shivs to deal four damage. Boop, boop. Uh, I take two. I don't want to take any more damage than that, um, but I'll spend one to get two of these shivs back. And I mean, I'll spend one more to get another shiv. Do I want to do two more damage and take? I don't think I do. So I could, because I'm getting two shivs right now and I'm at max, uh, I could spend one of them immediately, which would deal two damage, but then I would take a damage and then I would take another one from its attack against me. And my health, I think, is a little bit more precious than its health. So I'm going to end it there and just have the five shivs. So that's that. We are... Uh, attacked for four, blocked, very much blocked, and we're in the next round. One, two, three, four, and we'll have this. And it pops out of defensive mode, it's in attack mode again. We're at 52 health. I think we, I think we're in a good position to defeat it. We're, I mean, block over here is, is just doing very well, but I need to make sure I don't die. Uh, however, it did just get strengthened. So there is a bit of a ticking clock here. To see if we want to do that. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Glad to have gotten the neutralize. Um, I will also prepare to draw one, discard one. Huh. Uh, sure. I'll just discard the strike because I drew this blade dance. Um, so I'm going to spend two shivs. Uh, that's four damage. And uh, blade dance. To get the two shivs back. Holding on to them because they're really useful for making sure that I um, deal with its defense in the next turn. Uh, I will neutralize. So that's going to be weakened. 
Um, what have I spent? I've only spent one energy. So I'm going to defend, give me one block, and then I'll survivor to get me two more. I discard a card, I don't have any cards to discard. Um, it's only dealing one damage, maybe I, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll, I'll just have spent that. Uh, I could do the ninja scroll. Yeah, I'll do the ninja scroll while it you know, has you know, shields up. That's two more damage to it. That strength ninja scroll would be really good. Um, as it is now, it's just pretty good. Um, but again, if I get that finisher card, I think it's a rare one. Let's see if I pull it uh, after I defeat this boss. All right, uh, one, two. Up here, basic stuff, but did get a flurry of blows. Mm. Unfortunately, I can't switch my stance this, this turn because I'm not in wrath, so fear no evil won't enter me into calm. Protect is not particularly useful. I mean, I can still do the flurry of blows. I'm not gonna not flurry of blows. It's a free attack, one damage. And then fear no evil is another two more damage. So I'll, I will do that. Um, I'm going to, uh, I could do a strike and a defend. Give myself one more defend, give myself three more defend with protect. I don't think I need to, so I'm gonna do the strike and defend. So one more damage to it and I'll give myself one more defense. Then it attacks us. Each of us takes one. Then your block is removed. Uh, and then it gets its five, ten shields, and this weakened is gone. So now it's doing a, if we can't, well, I know for a fact that we can get rid of this shield, so it's not gonna, I'm not gonna stress the seven damage attack coming our way, but let's see how much damage we can do. Hopefully it's a lot. I am in calm, so I can draw four cards here. That's pretty good. I'll probably have a good good turn with the Watcher. I don't think we'll be able to kill it this round, but we can definitely do a lot. Um, and we can start with uh, spending all five shivs to just delete all of these shields. Uh, especially because Blade Dance gets me two more shivs which I will then immediately spend to deal four more damage. One, two, three, four. Two energy. Uh, not gonna have to worry about it being attacked, so I'll spend the last two energy for these two strikes to deal two more damage. Could have, could snack oil. Draw five cards. Yeah, you know what? Instead of playing these two strikes, I might still play them, but before I do that, I'm going to play my Sneko Oil. So I draw five cards, one, two, three, and then I have to reshuffle this. I'm hoping to get uh, some of these blade dances back. Um, so one, two, but then I get two, Disorients. Uh, yeah, that's a blade dance. Sneaky strikes would be great. This is my hand. Uh, the sneaky strikes would be great if I had discarded anything, but I haven't discarded anything this round. Um, these would be amazing if I had discarded things. As it is right now, I think I will still play one because it's a three damage attack. And that's two. And then I'll play my energy potion. Uh, to get two more energy. Um, and I will play a blade dance to get two more shivs, which I will then play, and a strike, so that's five more damage. 20, ooh, we might actually be able to take them out. Let's see how the Watcher fares. We're gonna start with some inner peace. Uh, I am in calm, so that's gonna be drawing four cards, which is one, two, three. You don't count this. We need to reshuffle. There are so few cards in here. All right, that's one more. This goes there. Uh, okay, so let's let's erupt. We've gone from calm to wrath. So one, then back two again. Um, let's get two more defense and two damage. 
I was really hoping to get Flurry of Blows. Let's let's see. I want to go. If I vigilance and then go back out of it, I can do more attacks. But as it is now, I want to maximize the damage on my attacks. So I will do two strikes for four damage. And then I'll do empty fist for three more damage and I'll enter neutral. I was kind of hoping to Vigilance. I could Miracle to give me, okay, rewinding a little bit. Empty Fist still in my hand. Um, a Strike still in my hand. I spend two for Vigilance. I go to Calm. I go from Wrath to Calm. That gets me two more uh, defense. I, uh, and there, I will then spend Empty Fist, uh, one, and then two more to go into neutral, gets me two more defense. That deals two damage instead of three. Um, and then I can spend two strikes there. I don't know if that was better. I think I maybe did one more damage and I thought about it way too long. Um, but that happens sometimes. Anyway, this is where we're at. It's got 21 health left, which is pretty good. Pretty good place to be. That's all done. Uh, still haven't taken any damage. Um, it was on mode shift, so now it shifts to defensive mode. Again, a difficult place for silent to be, considering how their moves go, especially because of blade. Oh yeah, these two. Uh, let's get rid of these. Mm. I'm going to hold on to one because I'm going to play Survivor to give myself two defense. And I'm going to discard one. Um, I'm going to neutralize. So one damage on it and it is weakened. Though that does hurt me for one. It's kind of a, well, eh, neutral move. And then I'll Blade Dance with my last energy um, to get me two shivs, but I will hold on to the shivs. Now, let's see if you can do something cool. You, yeah, do not need to worry about getting hit. There's a two damage attack coming in. You just do as many as many hits as you can. I know I'm going to get a uh, flurry of blows in here. Excited about that. Flurry of blows, but I want an eruption. I didn't get the eruption. But I can be vigilant. Two defense to any player, I'll give it to my ally here. Um, I'll Flurry of Blows, because that's three damage. Uh, one, two, three, though that does mean I take three damage. Uh, however, I entered Calm, which gave me two more defense. I'm going to do another Fear No Evil. What was that? Two. That's, that's the last of my energy. And that's two more damage. Um, I'll take one more. I have this, but it doesn't really help me. And doesn't help my opponent either. So, end of my turn. It deals two damage to both of us because this gets cancels itself out. Protected. Ooh. Protected. Bam. And now, oof. Uh, so it's going to deal five damage attack. It's got 16 health left. But one thing that's really important to note is that at the end of a boss battle, you regain all of your health back. And we're pretty well set so i think right brain here inner peace i'm in calm so i draw four cards one two three and come on give me that give me that flurry of blows flurry of blows no unlucky but i do have the eruption Eruption, boop, boop, uh, gets me two defense. Um, I'm just gonna lose one, whoop, lose one when I do the two damage here. And then one, two, four, seven more damage with these guys. And then I'll enter neutral. So seven brings it down to seven. 
I take three damage, but I switch stances, so I get one, uh, sorry, I get two, so I only take one damage, um, which puts me back at 10 block. All of these are done, and I'm in neutral. Haven't even looked at left brain. Uh, I know that they can do four damage, so really all I'm finding out is can I deal three more damage, because I've got these two shifts. Um, in here, two, it's not a guarantee. I did draw this guy again. Uh, I'm going to prepare, draw one card, discard one. Oh my god. Okay. This would be four. And these would be two more. I can deal six damage. Which means it's not actually worth it for me to deal any. Because I'm going to be taking, uh, taking hits. Um, two gives me two defense. I need to discard a card. Uh, defense gives me another one. Um, three coming in, five damage coming in, um, and I'll just not play that. So five damage comes in, one, two, three, four, five. I have taken some hits. They also take some hits. And then we're here, they're strengthened again. But once again, the question is, can I deal three damage? Couldn't in the last hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, we have enough damage to do it. Play the shivs. Two, four, we get two more shivs. Two, and then four. The Guardian has been defeated. Huzzah! So, the Guardian's defeated, which means we get some rewards. We get three gold, that's great. We get boss relics. Uh, these are very powerful, very useful. We get to choose between three of them for each of us. Oh, and I drew the best one for the silent, which is the wrist blade. Your zero cost attacks deal plus one damage on each, include shivs. Um, and also because I have uh, the ninja scroll. Uh, so my God, the wrist blade is useful for me. Um, White Beast statue, end of combat, gained a potion, also really good. Empty cage, remove two cards and then immediately discard this relic. Pretty good. Um, Sneko Eye. So this is one of these things, like every uh, every turn you're going to be rolling a die. One, two, draw two cards. Three, four, gain uh, an energy. Five, six, gain a disorient. Uh, add it to the fact that we have the Abacus, which once per room you can add one to the die result. We never really used it, but would combo well with Sneko Eye. Uh, cursed Key. At the start of your turn, you gain an energy. So instead of having three, I'd have four per turn. However, when obtained, gain two curses. Hate gaining curses. The orrery, gain four cards. Use this immediately, then discard it. Very cool. I think I would go with Sneko Eye. Sneko Eye is actually one of my favorite relics in the video game. Um, it doesn't do this. It does something very different, uh, but I, I love both of these. I think they're very cool. Um, and then, of course, we get rare cards. And actually, I could have uh, looked at the rare cards while I was choosing the um, boss relics. So first off, we got Deus Ex Machina. Zero cost, gets me two miracles, and then exhaust it. Now it's because it is a skill and I have Toxic Egg, it would upgrade, I think it would get me three miracles, but I still think it only, yeah, three miracles, still exhaust. Um, establishment, cards you retained last turn cost one less energy this turn. There are some cards that really like being retained. This is, is a really good card for those. I haven't really ha grabbed a lot of them. Um, so I think I would do Wish. Uh, choose one, gain a strength, gain 10 shields, or gain four miracles. Um, this is a three cost card and then exhaust it. If I were to upgrade it, two strength, 15, uh, and it would become immediately upgraded because of my toxic egg. Two strength, 15 shield, five miracles. Uh, this is very good for me. It's not like, it doesn't play into my deck very well, but because I've got the calipers that, you know, lets me hold on to block, this is an amazing relic, by the way. It's so strong if you are, uh, or it combos so well here. So 15 defense just protects me for like, f you know, several rounds of combat, so I can kind of just do whatever. Uh, two strength, also really good. Amazing with, uh, with wrath, or amazing with flurry of blows. I would very much hope to find the other flurry of blows in here. Um, if I could, uh, and then five uh, miracles. It's just, 
in that case, it's basically just a two energy, like for free, get you two energy kind of thing. Um, solid choice for that. What are the, what relics do I get over here? Uh, okay. Grand finale, difficult to pull off, but zero cost, 10 attack to your entire lane can only be played if there are no cards in your draw pile. Uh, difficult, but if you're playing a deck that has a lot of card draw, this is absolutely doable. Tools of the trade, at the start of your turn, draw one card, then discard a card. Amazingly, combos amazingly well with a sneaky strike, wherever that is. Uh, and then unload, two damage, use all of your shivs now, they each deal one damage, and then each shiv is a separate, separate attack. Ooh, both of these are very good. Definitely not gonna be grand finale though. So what do you do? Do you unload? Do one damage, two attack, use all of your shivs, they get plus one damage? So potentially, if I had five shivs, this would effectively be a seven damage attack. Very good for a one cost card. What would the upgraded version of this look like? Uh, they each deal two damage, oof, so strong. Uh, tools of the trade, start your turn, draw one card and disc one, discard one card. Makes it free? They're both good, but what I really am going for more is accuracy, is the shiv combo with this. So I think unload is better. Um, now, what I would really be looking out for after this is uh, there are, uh, there's, what is it, infinite blades, I think, is a power that just at the beginning of your turn, you gain a shiv. The combos that you can do in this game, I mean, it's very true to Slay the Spire in, in general, are ridiculous. Now, you don't have to do a lot of math. Uh, well, you know what? This is a lot I'm gonna get to in the final thoughts. So I need to get over and do that. So if you wanna watch that, since I'm all done with this first act. Now, oh yeah, what I would do now is I would go to the second act. Um, there are two, there are three acts that you can do in the base version of the game. Once you've done this a few times, there are things you unlock. And one of the things you unlock is the potential to get to act four. It's tricky to get there, and if even if you do, it, no guarantee you're gonna survive it. It's a very different kind of thing. Um, but act four is a thing that you can get to. And then uh, there's also ascensions. There's all kinds of things you could do. But for now, what I would be doing is I would go to act, uh, act two, we heal back to full, we take our reward decks, our normal reward decks, and shuffle them back in. So anything, Anything that we passed up in earlier rounds potentially could come back. That's important because there's uh, only two copies of each common card um, and no copies of the uncommon cards. So, you know, there's a good chance that you'll uh, find that. Uh, anyway, uh, we would go back to Act 2. We shuffle these. Nothing else gets shuffled, I don't think. Uh, so, you know, potions and, and relics that we've we've seen we're not gonna see those again um, and the rare cards don't shuffle either so that's where we currently sit uh, guardian is defeated and act two awaits but I'm not gonna play act two in this this is long enough already uh, and I want to get to final thoughts so uh, if you want to see me there why don't you click on that link in the top right corner or in the show notes below I'll see you folks there in three two one bye bye